Hello my loves and welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Love, Truth, and Wisdom Tarot Guidance. I hope you all are having an enjoyable day, evening, afternoon, wherever you are and I hope you all are doing well. So today I'm here to bring you another pick a card reading and today we are asking the question, what does your person tell themselves about this connection that you both share? So we have three piles here to choose from. We have the first pile here with the hair font, the second pile here with the hermit, and the third pile um, here with the emperor. So feel free to pick more than one if you feel guided to do so. Just um, keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not all the messages will resonate, and that's okay. Just take what does and leave what doesn't. Don't make it fit if it doesn't fit. Um, I am available for personal readings. If you feel guided to get a personal reading from me, all that information will be down below in the description box. And then I just want to give a big thanks to all of you for liking, sharing, subscribing, supporting me and my channel in whatever way you feel guided to do so. Um, thank you all so much for your time, your trust, your kindness, your love it really really means a lot to me and i'm just so appreciative that these readings are providing you with some deeper insights and guidance to your situation so yeah so without further ado here let's get on to your reading hello pile one and welcome to your reading if you chose the hair font card this is your reading for what does your person tell themselves about this connection so the overall energy i'm getting from this is that your person tells themselves i feel like There's a couple different things this person tells themselves about this connection that you both share. The first thing I'm picking up really strong is that this connection is worth saving, it's worth fighting for, it's worth holding on to because this person is very, very obsessed with you. We have obsession here twice. So this person thinks about you all the time. This person thinks about the connection all the time. It's almost like this person is just fixated on you and this connection. And you know they're obsessed with you in a passionate way but in a non-passionate way as well like basically this person is obsessed obsesses about like the sexual energy that you both share their desires for you um i feel like this person is very fascinated by you and it's like not wanting to let you go is wanting to be together but also like this person obsesses about what needs to change where there was a lack of balance where there needs to be forgiveness and an equal reciprocity because i feel like this person's been lying to you for quite some time or hiding from you or hiding something from you out of fear and they feel like they can't do that anymore or that's not right or that's not something they really want to do so I do feel like this person may have pushed you away in the past and um just know that if this person told you like they didn't want to be with you or they don't think about you or they don't love you or whatever the case may be it was a lie and this person feels really terrible about this but they do want to be honest with you in the future um I do feel like this person tells themselves that this person tells themselves it's like a lot of change. We have transformation here twice. So we have transformation feels like death and transforming energy. So this person tells themselves again, like this, just this connection, this relationship between you both needs to change and maybe come out of a space of codependency because this person feels really codependent towards you. Well, codependent means two so you both may feel like this codependent energy towards one another and this person tells themselves that you know maybe they're not worth having a healthy relationship maybe they're not worth having like a serious committed relationship and they're just all they can have is like passionate affairs and like stuff like that with you or with anyone so I do feel like this person doesn't know what to do or they don't know how to go about this they don't know why they would even it's almost like this person made it had a belief in their head that they don't want anything serious and now since meeting you this person is telling themselves like okay if I want something serious I have to change my ways I have to change my approach I have to change my beliefs but then they're acting like why would I even want to do that like why do I want to change for this person so I feel like this person tells themselves why do I want to change for this connection what is it about this connection with pile one that makes me want to change and I do feel like this is a learning process for them so this person is learning how to do things differently this person is like um I feel like this person's constantly or they feel like they're constantly messing up and like falling apart or falling down like something about them they feel like they just can't do anything right when it comes to you or this connection and again I'm picking up this as a learning process it's just part of the process for them to learn what it is they want how to be in balance how to forgive themselves for not being like perfect quote-unquote or for not knowing certain things for not having certain tools or you know for not for not knowing how to have a healthy relationship it's like this person needs to learn how to forgive themselves and forgive you so they can have a healthy relationship and they can move forward with you but i do feel like this person again is um 
being urged to do better, being urged to change, being urged to to forgive themselves and to release resentment and anger and to have compassion for themselves and learn that falling down is just part of the larger learning process and any relationship, you know, has ups and downs basically. It's like it's a learning process. So this person wants to learn how to be able to be more how to be more independent within themselves not to be so codependent or have codependent connections because I feel like this person has codependent relationships with everybody and they're learning that that's something that they don't want and that's something that's unhealthy for them so this person is definitely learning how to be able to stand on their own two feet first they're learning what independence means and it's like they're forming the basis and the foundation for a healthy relationship based off their own independence so I definitely feel this person is like in a way making plans for both of you to be more congruent and have a more solid foundation because this person it's almost like this person is setting up for like a very stable secure and bright future with you and I do feel like the next time you hear from this person they want to like impress you or they want to show you just how much they've worked on themselves and how much they're ready to commit and like put an effort into the situation because I do feel like again in the past this person like was lying to you or wearing a false mask not showing you who they really are and like you know in in it amidst in in that whole situation I do feel like this person has fallen in love with you or fallen in love with you and so they're at a point now where this person needs to be true and needs to tell you the truth and they need to tell you how they really feel and who they really are and I do feel like this is something they are dreading because they feel like you won't love them once you know but it is something they feel like they have to do for themselves most importantly and they have to do it for you because this person is not wanting to let you go this person is wanting to be together with you this person doesn't want to move on from you but again there's like some codependency energy within that a little bit that this person's still working through and that's going to take time that's going to take practice that's that's again a process so um that you both are working through because codependency is true so it's like this person doesn't want to need you but wants to want you wants to like love you unconditionally in a way where you know they're not basing their worth on you they're not valid they're not validating their feelings towards you or like you you're not needing to validate their feelings or validate their worth or validate anything about them but just love them so I do feel like this person is trying to doesn't want to try to like what I want to say like wants to be in a place where they're giving and receiving and where they're being more present in the moment with you because I feel like this person is very much like ascending or trying to break through something and I do feel like um this person is it requires balance and it requires balance between their yin and yang energy and I do feel this person is accomplishing this by the more grounded they stay the more grounded they are in themselves and the more centered they are with themselves and more in touch and aware they are of themselves this person can clear this person can clear all that codependent energy and balance it out rather than suppressing their energies and and being one-sided so I do feel this person is coming into awareness and I think you know what they tell themselves about this connection is that this is again worth fighting for this is a worth this is worth changing this is worth this person changing and coming into awareness and being willing to step up into their energies and being you know not giving up on this and even though they don't know what to do and they don't know how to do this and they don't know why they would even want to they know that they have to like something is yearning or something is like motivating them to do so so this is someone who wants to take every like difficult challenging bad you know quote-unquote situation that has happened to both of you in your lives and transform it and transmute it and alchemize it into love into something better into something higher and heal that so this person is learning that they have powers they have abilities they may not have they may not have all the tools they need but they they have the tools that they need right now to experience a higher vibrational relationship with you to experience compassion and forgiveness to have forgiveness with you to have balance with you they still have learning to do but they still can can offer you forgiveness and balance and passion in a new way something that they're not used to and I do feel like this person is um has the power to change their life and has the power to change your life and vice versa like something about this I feel like is about to shift into like a miracle type of setting where what you thought like maybe you thought you weren't able to be with this person because of all their like maybe um lack of commitment or lack of intimacy or fear or whatever but I do feel like that is changing within this person right now because I do feel like their beliefs are evolving and they're becoming more open-minded and 
like I said, if this person's beliefs were an issue in before, like I do feel like they have been, this person wants you to not assume that they're going to be the same way once they reach out because this person is going to be in a much more open-minded and open-hearted space where they're ready to listen and forgive and bring balance and work together, cooperate and collaborate. So I do feel this person is telling themselves that this is not something they want to let go of. This is something that they want to see where this goes but it requires de a great deal of transformation change and ending and then even if it feels like a death to them metaphorically energetically it's worth it because this is someone who cannot let you go and doesn't want to let you go and really really has a lot of strong passionate feelings for you and i do feel like this person wants to know or wants some type of sign from you that you're still thinking of them that you feel the same way that because it's like this person wants to know that you're not going anywhere because this person is letting you know right now through me that they're not going anywhere and they, they want this and they don't want this to end and they want something more serious with you. So um, I do feel like your person may post things about on social media about you or about this connection or about love, kind trying to like get your attention or something like that. If that's not the case, I do feel like this person wants you to do that to them to just, again, it's like a reassurance thing to let them know that you both are still thinking about each other. You both still desire and want each other and still are hoping that this connection can work out between you both, that this relationship can work out. Even if it's a project, even if it requires a lot of hard truths and and honesty and awareness and, and being more conscious about your actions and your intentions, that's what they're striving for. That's something that they want to do. That's something that they feel like it's worth it to them because this person deeply, deeply like loves you and cares about you. Here's the thing. I want to say this person loves you, but for some reason I'm being stopped to say that. So I feel like this person, maybe this person hasn't admitted to themselves that they love you or hasn't told you they loved you yet, but I am getting this person loves you. But for some reason, like spirit is not wanting me to say it. Like it's just kind of, it's an obsession. Like this person's just fixated on you, but they don't know the reason why is because they love you. It's like they know, but they're not ready to admit it. Does that make sense? So yeah, so I feel like, yeah, that's what they that's what they tell themselves about this connection so that is what i see for you guys so i'm gonna leave it here i hope this was helpful i hope this provided you with some deeper insights into your situation um thank you for watching thank you for tuning in and i will talk to you all later take care hello pile two and welcome to your reading if you chose the hermit card this is your reading for what do what does your person tell themselves about this connection so this person is very arrogant to say the least i do feel like this person is very prideful i do feel like this person can be very self-absorbed at times very like egotistical very selfish um maybe even carry some narcissistic qualities where this person which we all can so we're not gonna like judge them we're all narcissists to some degree at some level with someone or something so it doesn't i mean that's not the problem the problem is that this person can't see their narcissistic um qualities or they're like selfish um entitled egotistical ways and that's where it's causing them to kind of tell themselves some things about this connection that aren't true so I do feel like this person like is telling themselves that they don't care about your feelings and you don't care about their feelings and why should they put in effort and why should they do this it's like this person may push you and do certain things to you to to sh for you to like so they could see how much you love them so you can but it's like unhealthy so you so they can see how much you want them or you need them but even if you were to tell this person how much you love them or want them or need them they still wouldn't believe you because this person is very much stuck in their ways they are very much stuck in a wound of where like this person feels like no one cares about them so why should they care about anybody else does that make sense so this person is i feel like is always testing people especially you is always testing this connection is always testing their love for you or like challenging your love for them in some way it's like this person has deep intense emotional pain and fear surrounding commitment and surrounding like you know um vulnerability and i do feel like this person gets quite depressed sometimes gets quite quite lonely and but they they're not seeing it it's like they're blaming everybody else for this but except it, instead of taking accountability and responsibility for their own um actions and behaviors that has caused this like this person is not you know alone they have people that care about them but this person is so 
stuck in their ways they're so rigid in their thinking so very arrogant which honestly obviously is just a defense mechanism but they don't see it that way like this person becomes very emotionally unavailable or um very defensive very triggered very easily this person has a lot of healing to do and is very scared to approach this healing to approach this wound to be honest about their wound that they have so this person looks for external validation and external reassurance to to let them know that hey i mean i'm perfect everybody else is the problem like nothing's wrong with me everybody else has the issue which is not the case so i do feel like this person is kind of living do I want to say double life or is just really needing to make some major changes in their life to live more authentically because this person is hiding behind we're one a wound and hiding behind like a false mask a false identity which your ego is just a false identity it's not the real you and your ego is just your human vessel it's just you know what it's it's what houses your true self basically so I do feel like this person I mean, I don't see them going through any type of ego death, anything really quickly. I mean, they are doing a lot of like spending time alone, but they're not really doing the work that's needed to kind of understand why they're alone. Does that make sense? They're just like, oh, I'm alone. And then they just kind of close themselves off. And it's not like when this person's alone, they spend time with themselves. They like distract themselves with other things and other people. So this person is like, it's like this person just always feels alone no matter where they are who they're with and they blame it on everything else outside of them except for the fact that they have this wound of like abandonment or this fear of commitment this fear of like um intimacy vulnerability that they need to break through so i do feel like this it's like this person oh my gosh this person just wants to make people proud they're really really into like external validation and that is where it's getting a little unhealthy because this person will do anything to make people almost like a people pleaser this person will do anything to make people happy to make people love them instead of just being true to themselves instead of just being authentic and that's where it's causing issues because this person doesn't it's like this i don't, I don't want to say this person doesn't know how to be authentic but they've been so non-authentic that this let's just say this person has a lot of healing and work to do on themselves but I don't really see that they're doing it I think they may get like insights or glimpses of the fact that they have a problem or they have a certain behavior that they need to change but then they tell themselves why do I need to change and no one else is changing they kind of go through that battle that conflict of like well if I change then this person needs to change and if they're not changing then why do I need to change it's like they're doing again doing stuff for other people doing stuff for their own for external like validation and this person needs to learn that whatever they do whatever they do or don't do is for them first and foremost one like 100 percent. it doesn't matter what other people say or think people are going to say and think whatever they want anyway no matter what you do so i just feel like this person just yeah is like afraid to let you down is afraid to let people down is afraid to is afraid to to get to know you on a deeper level because they're afraid they're going to let you down they're afraid they're going to disappoint you and this is the whole thing of this person this person's afraid to be to to disappoint people so i feel like this person grew up in the in a very like unhealthy very wounded environment where this person was raised by people who were very selfish and egotistical and even had maybe narcissistic characteristics like I said we all do but to the degree where this per it was like a high degree where there was no like emotional reciprocity there was no healthy boundaries there is no like vulnerability or like um respect or acceptance it was just a lot of like being told what to do when to do and if you don't do it you don't get this you don't get that like very very conditional and I do feel like this definitely has carried over in this connection with you and I feel like this person is avoiding you right now so if you haven't heard from this person they're definitely avoiding you because for two reasons they think that you should reach out to them which is just their ego talking and their wound talking basically um but also because this person feels like every time they reach out to you or connect with you it's like they feel like they have to it's like always not always a problem but they feel like they always have to overcome something or they see something in you that triggers them very very strongly and they don't like it and then that's when they lash out or you know become very like not caring about your feelings or put unrealistic expectations on you because that's what's done to them it's like you mirror something to them that they really don't like but you also mirror love but they wouldn't know that because they're 
all up in their like identity and who they are and like what in like even it's not even who they really are it's just again a false concept it's just an illusion so before this person comes back to you I do feel like this person will come back to you because they want intimacy with you like they want sex with you so and I feel like this person loves being intimate with you but I also feel like on a deeper level this is just like the most comfortable way of showing you their love for you because they're not thinking about anything. They're not in their ego. I mean, they might be, but they're not really in their ego when they make love to you. They're really in their heart space and they're really like feeling like a moment with you. That may be the only moment where this person is vulnerable with you is when they're like intimate with you. And then after that or any other time, they just get closed off, which makes you feel obviously bad. It makes you feel like something's wrong with you, but it's not. It's just this person is not comfortable being like vulnerable 24 7 which obviously no one has to be vulnerable 24 7 but I do feel like this person's not like comfortable being authentic 24 7 and I think when they're intimate with you is the most authentic they are um because this person I mean we have soulmate here so this person sees you and knows on some level that you're a soulmate but acknowledging that right now is like not where it's at because this person is still in like their self-absorbedness they're still like looking at their image and whatnot so yeah, this person, this person does miss you. I can, I can tell you that this person misses you, and I do feel this person. Deep down, they don't know what they would, where they would be, or they don't know. What they do without you in their life, without knowing you, and. But you see, every time I get a little vulnerable, like it switches because then all of a sudden it's like I was getting more deeper into the feelings of this person and then all of a sudden this person's like you are not you like don't go date anyone else like you like this person doesn't want you to date anyone else this person um doesn't want you to be with anyone else they want you to be completely faithful to them while they do whatever and I don't think this person's doing other things with other people but that's just like their mentality that's just the way of their thinking it's like as soon as they get too deep they get scared and they freeze up and then they go back to like not caring about their feelings not caring about your feelings I do feel like once this person truly commits to their wounds and healing them and releasing them and diving deep into them diving deep into their fear they will evolve quite fast and I do feel like this person has the ability to to be stable, to be honest, to be authentic, to to love you, to evolve faster than you think, to give you their heart. But it's just getting them to that space. It's what's going to be a little bit challenging. And I do feel like it's going to take some time. But because this person's just really, really scared of disappointment. Like they just have, it's honestly, honestly, it's really sad. Like I feel for this person. I understand. I understand why this person is the way they is. They're just not, you know, a narcissist to be a narcissist. Clearly something has happened to them where this person had was taught these narcissistic ways and no one's a narcissist and no one's an empath it's more like you were taught certain things you were conditioned and programmed a certain way where you just a, a bunch of characteristics just grouped together creates a narcissist or an empath does that make sense so it's not like we're born this way like no one's born like hey i'm gonna not care about someone's feelings or hey i'm gonna be selfish like no like that shit was fucking taught to this person so and taught from a wounded person and taught from a wounded space where this person was wounded and didn't know how to tend to that wound so they just you know their parents you know whether they're consciously aware or not just taught them how to tend to a wound which is to ignore it to be selfish to not care about anybody's feelings and you can't get hurt but that's not a healthy way or a productive way to live or to have healthy relationships with other people so um yeah this is kind of deep but I feel like in terms of what they tell themselves about this connection that they tell themselves all I hear all I heard was it's possible that I love this person so this person tells themselves it's possible that they love you it's possible that they could have something serious with you but they're not seeing like that's like far far in the future is what I'm getting like it's not anything now it's not anything like not right now like that's that's just a possibility like there's other possibilities because this person no matter even though they are attracted to you and I do feel like this attraction is mutual with chemistry here and even though they know somewhere deep down that they could be open with you and be vulnerable with you they just are fearing that you will take advantage of them that you will that they will get lost in you with this fear of commitment here that um 
that if they fully loved you, you may, you're going to hurt them. You're going to shatter them. You're going to leave them. You're going to, they're going to lose you some way, somehow. So they just like, why go there? Why even entertain that possibility or entertain that idea of commitment with this person? So I do feel like change is upon this. This is someone that can't continue to go on this way. And change will happen when it's divinely meant to happen. And I do feel like, the, again, this person has the ability or has the capacity to show up very good for you, but not right now, basically. And and I feel like, I feel like this person tells themselves that this relationship is different. They don't know how different. They don't know like the specifics, but they know it's different. They know it's not like any other relationship they've ever had. They know it's, it, they just know it's different. And I feel like this person, this, first of all, this person has a very obviously distorted um, perception of commitment because of what they've been taught and what they've been programmed and they haven't really dealt with they haven't unlearned a lot of those behaviors and but this person knows that they can't put this relationship in a box it's different like um it requires growth it requires learning it requires ego deaths and not attaching to your identity it requires like letting go of your ego your pride and it just requires a lot of spiritual strength that this person's not aware that they have but they have it because they've never tapped into it they've never had to use it and i do feel like again on some level this person does want union with you but their idea of commitment or union is distorted right now because this person's in a distorted perception of themselves. So that's just something they're going to mirror to you. And they feel like, oh, they feel, I just heard like it's a trap, like getting committed is a trap. So again, their distorted perceptions of commitment, they feel like it's a trap. And that's not the case. I feel like, obviously it's not the case like that's not the goal or purpose of commitment it's and people a lot of people have this like misconception of commitment where they're like fearing of commitment because they think it's like a trap or they think they're not gonna be free or something and it's it's not the commitment they're scared of it's the ability to like be completely like not be in control that they're scared of like can be completely in love and engulfed in another person and trusting that other person won't hurt you that's what they're scared of because this person again lacks trust within themselves and with other people and this person's like just not in a place where they're ready to open their heart or their mind right now or allow their heart to kind of lead them into the something a lot more healthier and a lot more serious and a lot more loving and respectful and unconditionally accepting even though deep down because I do feel like this person is a very sensitive soul but it's been like smothered it's been suppressed so much by like their family their friends and stuff like that obviously their family first but it's like and maybe not even consciously aware of it or on purpose but that is the case with this person and I just feel like again they have to like lower their defenses because this arrogance this pride is a defense mechanism and I do feel like this person can come across to you quite arrogant or indifferent towards you but I don't think that's true um and I don't think they mean it it's just all they know it's just a, it's just a pattern it's just a behavior that they have that they need to be aware of but they're not aware of it so this person feels again in in arrogance and and all that stuff and and self-absorbedness and ego and selfishness is just a shield for insecurity so this person's just insecure and they're trying their ego is protecting themselves because that's what your ego is for is to protect you to keep you alive and this person feels like they will die if they share if they be vulnerable with you if they share their heart with you if they love you or accept you because maybe this person tried to do that in the past in their family and it didn't go well like it was very like they were mistreated or they were abused or they were like um abandoned or rejected or something like that and I just feel like this person is in the process or will start the process of unblocking their heart and because right now this person is just blocking themselves from love and um blocking themselves from empathy this person's not empathizing they're on the opposite end the opposite end of empathy is narcissism like they're both dualistic like they both come from the same type of upbringing which is trauma which is wounding it's just depends on like you know which one you kind of lean more towards but I do feel like this person they don't speak very kindly about this connection right now and 
I do think that's something that needs to change and they need to start healing that and becoming more aware of how they speak to themselves, how they speak to you, how they speak to others, how they speak about this connection because they don't understand that their speech really impacts, their words impact other people and it impacts themselves and how they see themselves and how they, and who they want to be and, and how they see you. It's like this person has a lot of work to do basically. I mean, we all do, but this person is like very much in in a space right now where they just can't see it and that's something that it just is what it is it just you know there's nothing you can do to change this there's nothing like this is all in like spirit's hands like this person just needs more time to kind of deal with themselves and understand themselves but I do feel like this person would like you know one of their wishes I feel is to be faithful towards you but again, that's a possibility. That's something that they don't really see happening anytime soon because this person is just, again, very much in their, in their wounded, in their woundedness right now. Um, it's going to be interesting if this resonates with you, how this resonates, like where this is going, like if this person is going to be able to like come out of this, I mean, I, it honestly just depends I can't even say like we all come out of it sometimes we don't sometimes we do which is why we like incarnate over and over again because we didn't learn something or we didn't get a chance to to do something um but I just I feel like this is interesting I don't know why I'm just really interested in this person because I just feel like they have so much potential but they're not using it and that could be where you are you're at with this person where you feel this person has so much potential but they're just so hurt right now and I understand that that they don't even see their own potential they just see through the eyes of other self-absorbed egotistical people which is what's hurting them they need someone who has empathy who has compassion who has a heart who is very loving accepting respectful which could be you but even if that person like I said came to them they would still not believe it because they've been told so much that they're not worthy of love that they're not worthy of acceptance or respect or love or something like that so again it's just like a catch-22 so I'm just gonna send this person a lot of love because right now like they really need someone who's in their corner and someone who really really is willing to work with them not trying to change them not trying to kind of get them to be something they're not but really just take it at their pace and understand where they're coming from that they're coming from a place of a wound and that they need time to kind of understand that and reflect on that and heal that before anything else because this person's not available or ready to be in any type of commitment or relationship with anybody honestly and I don't think they want to um if they do it's purely for superficial reasons and it's for superficial like that's it it's it's nothing deep it's nothing like it's purely for like assurance and like making this person look good and not because they actually love this person this person actually has a love for you and they they really you know I don't think they'll ever say it anytime soon but they really do appreciate your love and acceptance and respect even if you haven't been all of that they know that you're capable of that which is why they respect that and they wish they could be like that but for some reason this person feels like they're not able to they're not capable of doing so which is really sad because they are they just been they're just listening to the wrong people and like seeing themselves in a distorted way um but yeah, I just, oh, my heart. Okay, I'm going to leave it here because I feel like I'm going to cry because this person is just in a lot of pain. And I feel like you're in a lot of pain because this person's in a lot of pain. Um, It's just really difficult. But anyways, I'm going to leave it here. So I hope, you know, this was as helpful as possible and gave you insights to this situation, to this person and, and what they tell themselves about this connection. Um, If not, feel free to pick another pile. I'm sending you both so much love right now. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And I will talk to you all later. Take care. Hello, Pile 3, and welcome to your reading. If you chose the Emperor, this is your reading for what do they tell themselves about this connection? So the first thing I'm getting here is this person tells themselves just how much they truly love you and how much they yearn for you. This person really, really loves you. And that's like the first thing I was really picking up is that this person wants to tell you how much they love you. If they haven't said it in a while or even yet, this person wants to tell you how much they love you. So they tell themselves that they love you, but they also tell themselves like, what's the point in loving you? Because they feel like it's always a problem. They feel like there's always some type of obstacle or some type of challenge in the way. We have obstacle here twice. So I do feel like this person 
it feels like there's no point of expressing this love to you because it could never work out between you both for whatever reasons it's like maybe this person feels like you're on different pages or just feels like I don't know they just feel like some type of obstacle it could be like an unhealed wound or something like that or um maybe this person's just going through a lot or is always going through something but they just feel like it's never the right time and they're just never like um like it's just never gonna work out like it's always something like I'm just getting it's always something but despite all of that this person truly loves you and truly misses you and thinks about you all the time I do think this person is very heartbroken not speaking to you not hearing from you not being near you or close to you I do feel like this person longs for you and is like again wanting to be close to you wants to express how much they love you this person has a lot to express in terms of like their heartfelt truths their feelings um I do feel like this person thinks about reaching out to you but again they feel like what's the point when I can't be with the person with this person the way that I want to where I can't spend time with them the way I want to or yearn for them it's like this person wants you back and this person does want a second chance with you but something that they're regretting there's something here maybe this person feels like they need to apologize for something or explain something to you but this person does want you back but they are regretting something in the past of maybe not telling you this prior or maybe not telling you maybe this person wishes they would have told you how they felt prior or they wish they would have apologized or told you how much they you really meant to them but now they feel like it's kind of too late or it's just again like there's so many obstacles in the way that it's just overwhelming them so they just don't feel like trying but I do feel like this person is needing you right now is like really wanting to hear from you or see you or speak to you again um because we have begging here and I feel like this could be to them like a life or death situation like it's very very important that this person speaks to you and tells you how much they miss you and they want you and just tells you how much they love you but we do have fear blocks love here so this person tells themselves like if they were to show you their true emotions and admit how they felt about you like you would not feel the same way or you wouldn't reciprocate or you would share a different vision or a different feeling towards them so i don't know what that's about because i feel like this person is, af is afraid to love you and to be loved by you and it's because this person has a deep wound in regards to love and in regards to like I think definitely like their heart chakra is a little bit closed off and like I do feel like maybe this person was taught like at an early age that wasn't appropriate to feel a feeling or to show emotion or to express feelings so this person learned to just kind of like block off their emotions and like block off their heart and I do feel like maybe this person was even punished for expressing love or rejected in some type of harsh way or something like that. But I do feel like this person needs to learn that shaming themselves or shaming their emotions is no way they can't go about that anymore. Like they can't do that anymore. It's not helpful because this person is human. We're all human. We all have to experience emotions and to experience feelings and it's not fair to us or nice to ourselves to hide them or to shame them or to guilt them no matter what we were taught so I feel like this person has to like unteach themselves about shame about emotions about expressing vulnerability about you know being human you know if you're alive you have emotions and this person like realizing that they're not a child anymore they don't have to hide or shame or guilt themselves into like how they feel it's like this person is safe to feel so I feel like this person feels tells themselves like it's not safe to feel in this relationship it's not safe to love or be loved by you because either because this person for some reason feels like you don't feel the same way or they feel like their wound of loving would not be beneficial to you would not help the situation move forward like with obstacles here I just feel like this person feels like they have a lot of making up to do or a lot of cleaning up to do when it comes to you and I do feel like this overwhelms them because maybe this person may have maybe sabotage this connection in certain ways I mean I, I feel like this person you know I think they're looking too much at the big picture I think they need to take small steps and I think this person if they were to start in like one small corner or just clear one area up with you like maybe just expressing how much they miss you or you know asking to see you or seeing what's up or something like that they will begin to not be so overwhelmed so I feel like this person has a hard time like trusting their guidance because they've been been they have been guided to like reach out to you for a while now but they haven't done it and I feel like first of all I feel like this relationship is divinely guided but I do feel like this person 
may not trust that they may not trust that this will work out the way that they want it to and I feel like this person may be too attached to how they want this to work out because it's going to work out the way it's going to work out and it might just be different from their current perspective but that doesn't mean that it's going to be worse so I feel like this person has like a case or does like has a pattern where this person kind of thinks worst case scenarios and I feel like this person um may need to learn how to surrender to what is or surrender to what may seem like a mess but is actually in their benefit it's helping them it's for a purpose because this person despite this mess throughout this mess they're missing you and they wanted to reach out to you and they want to start over with you but they're not trusting that that's possible because it's so messy because there's so many obstacles so I do feel like this person just needs to start somewhere and they need to believe that they can do it and trust that the universe and trust what's going on because it's important to them and this person can't deny their feelings anymore so I feel like this person is definitely like holding themselves up in some sort of like self-imposed like self-imposed like prison or self-imposed like blockage in some way where this person is like even though like I mean, I think they're trying to get out of it. They're trying to do their best. They're trying to reach out to you soon. But it's like this person's just worried that you're going to abandon them. Or they're wor it's like this person's just worried that things are not going to work out if they reach out to you even though they want to. And they've been wanting to for quite some time. And I do think they're ready. I think they're just wanting to be perfect, quote unquote, whatever that means. But there's no perfect timing because the longer they wait, the more that this is just going to get worse or be exaggerated or you know they're gonna lose you to someone else or there's just gonna be there's always gonna be problems but that's no reason to stop yourself from like speaking on how you feel or telling someone how you feel you know what I mean so I feel like this person's gonna reach out to you soon and I do feel like you're gonna get an apology from them where this person's gonna tell you just how sorry they are and how they hope that you can forgive them and they feel so bad for like ghosting you or giving you the silent treatment or abandoning you or leaving you in a, in whatever capacity but in reality this person has missed you so much and I feel like this person's heart aches for you I feel like this person cries for you with the missing and the tear this person like has it's been crying over you missing you and yearning for you and like longing for you and like wanting to talk to you again and this person just for some reason they're telling themselves they can't reach out yet until their situation has cleared up and I'm not saying that this person's not going through obstacles but we're all going through obstacles right now literally we're all going through something and I just feel like this person's making excuse because they're afraid to show you their true emotions because they're afraid of being rejected to you so being rejected by you so this person's just telling themselves like I can't do this right now because you know I have to work or I have to pay this or I have to do that or I have to like get something done but so this person is just like you know, maybe telepathically letting you know that they think about you all the time or like, um, maybe in dreams, I feel like this person may be dreaming a lot about you. It's like, they're getting so much guidance to reach out, but they're not trusting it. And that's, that's the block right now because they're afraid that they're going to be rejected. And I feel like maybe this person hasn't even really admitted to themselves just how much they love you. I think they have, but it's going to be different for everyone. But maybe for some of you, this person just hasn't admitted just how much they want you, how much they yearn for you and miss you and love you because they want to be with you. Because maybe if they admitted it to themselves, they would have to change their self-sabotaging ways. They would have to like let go of like their obstacles. And to them, that would just be, that would just mean to them like, like their whole world would have to change. I feel like this person's afraid of change in some way or just afraid of like what this what this connection could be, like the potential of this because this is like a serious like love situation. Like this is like you both share a very deep bond, like true love type of situation and I feel like this person if they were to surrender to you and to this connection um something about this, it's like this person surrendering to feelings or surrendering to like um like the universe just for some reason they've been told because I definitely feel like this is not like their own belief they've been told that it makes them weak in some way so I feel like this person needs to start telling themselves and learning that surrender is not weakness it's not giving up it's not giving in or it's not giving something up it's about being okay with whatever happens it's about detaching from attaching to an outcome it's about realizing and like acknowledging and accepting that there's a bigger plan that you can conceive of that's out of your control and that control is just an illusion of like the ego so there's like there's nothing it's like this person's trying to control their feelings but it's like you can't control your feelings they have a mind of their own they have a they're an energy they're um they're they're a fucking um what i want to say like emotions and feelings are 
it's just energy in motion. You can't control that. Energy is always changing. It's always moving. There's nothing you can control. I mean, you can control your own feelings, but when it comes to like love and stuff like that, that's not, it doesn't work that way. Like you have to allow it to just express itself and however it wants to express itself. And it doesn't mean you have to like tell this person or like do anything, but it just means you have to allow yourself to feel what you're feeling. Don't suppress it. Don't deny it. Like you feel what you feel for a reason. Otherwise you wouldn't feel it. Not everyone feels loving feelings. Not everyone feels like missing feelings. Not everyone misses someone. Not everyone like wants to tell someone how they feel. Like, so if you're like, dealing with that if that's something that's coming up for you it's coming up for a reason because it needs to be expressed like creator is showing you hey like express this hey say this hey this is how you're feeling do something about it like emotions are just kind of guidance to like where we need to go and what we need to do what action we need to take and if we don't take that action then obviously it's gonna be an issue later down the road so this again like this person needs to know it's safe for them to feel surrender to their feelings surrender to their feelings not to the obstacles because obstacles are always going to be there so yeah this person just is surrendering too much to their obstacles and there there will never be a right time until they make the time that's what they need to figure out that's what they need to know and i do feel like this person they won't be able to like deny or suppress or hide how they're feeling for you very long because they're just they're ready it's just their mind playing tricks on them and um, this person is always thinking of you and in, and anytime they think of you they just it puts a smile on their face they just love you this person also can't wait to see you they can't wait to talk to you they can't wait to hear from you I feel like this person every time they think about you or see you in some way shape or form like they get giddy because they know like this person's like I get to speak to pile three I get to speak to my person I get to see my person I get to love my person I get to tell them how I feel but like surrendering to that is just scary to them and I do feel this person also wants to get like intimate with you that's not their main goal but that is something that they miss as well like being like sexually intimate with you but again I feel like this person wants to do so in a different way this person has changed and maybe they haven't realized just how much they've changed because they're still dealing with obstacles but like I said obstacles are gonna happen regardless but this person deals with them in a different way I do feel like this person knows how to have healthy boundaries knows how to create firm boundaries and where to create those boundaries and I feel like honestly with different pages I don't really get that I don't get that you're on different pages I get that this person just thinks you both are because they haven't heard from you because they haven't spoken to you and that's what's creating like the obstacle but I don't think you both are on different pages I think this person definitely wants to make love to you in a different way I think this person wants to be intimate with you in a different way I think this person wants to get to know you better and in in more intimately than they've ever known anyone and and vice versa I feel like this person just wants to be really really like strongly committed to you and connected to you in a different way and I do think this person is going to reach out soon because like all the messages here just say like surrender and I feel like spirit is just telling them surrender this is what you feel this is what this is who you love this is what you care about like you want them back you want to apologize and they're just like having trouble doing so so um but again I think they're gonna overcome that so yeah that is what I see for you guys so I'm gonna leave it here so I hope this was helpful I hope this provided you with some deeper insights into your situation um if not feel free to pick another pile if you feel guided to do so I'm sending you all so much love thank you for watching thank you for tuning in and I will talk to you all later take care